a great finish in their 2017 uh, award winners for this year. Uh, today, on February 4th, 2018, the day of the Super Bowl, Sunday, uh, we had uh, some new award winners in the uh, female section of football. Uh, Danielle's been a very dedicated player over the years. She's still looking to continue on. Uh, Add in a junior official in flag football, uh, Carson Lund, he's a former player as well. His dad's been involved for a number of years. So we continue to expand our, our new, uh, as we're wearing around our t-shirts, our new red soil football and uh, the uh, building on our awards. It's a, it's a new one-off that we're going to hopefully uh, continue to grow. And uh, certainly nominate all the better players and, and dedicated volunteers and stuff in the sport. And it's a uh, great thanks to the ADL and Sport BI as well. It's a partnership that uh, um, goes a long way to uh, give back to some of the membership throughout the season. To win this award, it means that they're not just thinking about the boys playing football, they're thinking about like the girls and how they've had an impact on what we've done. And that girls can play, and that's why it's so important to me. Um, it means a lot. I've worked really, really hard for it, just from multiple years playing football, and just growing with the sport, and it helped a lot. It means quite a bit. I mean, as coaches, even though the words don't really matter, but the words all with the players, but you know, it's nice to get recognized for all the hours and everything that you put into growing the sport. That means quite a bit, makes me pretty proud. I've got a, also got a younger son who's, uh, who really looks up to Parker and, uh, and uh, Parker would consider this more of a team award than a, an individual award for sure. So it's just the way he is. I find he kind of brushes off the individual stuff so it's more about the team. So. It means a lot because I really enjoy playing it. John Turner. It's, uh, it's been great to, to Parker for, for years, and uh, I think there's a lot of mutual respect there between the two of them. But I think uh, Parker holds him up there pretty high, and uh, all, the, all the respect for both of them. Probably my biggest would be Joe Poo. Um, he was my coach when I played all through junior high, high school, even as senior men's. You know, he, Gentleman has so much knowledge of football. And he's still around helping us out and teaching us coaches how to coach. Probably my coaches, most likely, and my friends who basically told me to keep going when I was ready to keep going. And uh, just a lot of respect for my coaches and uh, teaching me how to play the game. My coaches definitely. They've influenced me to be who I am and play how I play and to know that it's go bigger go home. teams and different provinces of Canada girls teams and I'd really like to see uh, PEI have a Tiger football league for girls. I'd like to see it grow quite a bit. I know it was only our first year last year or something of it. And, uh, but yeah, I'd like to see it grow. I'd, I'd love to see us get back in the high schools and junior highs, be able to get more than you know your four teams through the province. Like to see six to eight teams. Provincial's growing, which is really good, and even grow the flag a lot more than we are now too. Again, like I say, I have a younger kid that who's just in, he's in the Adam, he's in his third year Adam, but uh, the numbers, um, you know, it's tough, but strength in numbers is, is the thing. Whether you can expand to have more teams or just uh, make the team stronger, I know. There was a couple of games I know uh, where we had canceled on short notice for our players, and it worked both ways. Where our kid, you know, high school kids had commitments and, and uh, just to get them together, but it's, it's it's numbers and it's you're competing against everything. You know, whether it's hockey or baseball, everything's a year-round sport these days. So.